Joining me today is Matt Wilkinson. Matt, you've just brought out another book, book three. This book is fantastic. We're actually going to be doing a recipe from it today. We are. Mm -hmm. um, throughout the book, there's three sections on leftovers because yeah. it's one of those things. I wanted to do a book on leftovers, mm. but this one is how to use up that corned beef that you've made. I love corned beef, and we're going to make a... My take on a Reuben sandwich. Oh, yeah, I love a Reuben sandwich. And a Reuben sandwich always starts with some rye bread. Rye bread. Yep. Um, but you don't have to use rye bread, right? No, you can use multigrain. You can use white bread if yep. you want. Um, <laughs> brioche is good to use as well. Yep. Um, but rye bread's the classic. You can slice the rye bread. Mm -hmm. If you can make the dressing that goes sure. as part of it, it's the Russian dressing. Mm. Um, it's mayonnaise, mm -hmm. some ground horseradish. Yum, I love horseradish. Big hit of it. Big hit, yeah, that's good. That's good hard. Amount. <laughs> uh, lemon juice. Okay. And then some paprika and cayenne pepper for a bit more cabal. Beautiful. Nice mm. big white bread. Mm -hmm. We'll turn the uh, pan on. Yep. I'm gonna cook with a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, this is now assembling, and it's it's kind of I think it's important about the assembling. Mm. Um, we start with a bit of dressing on the inside. Mm. And smear it on. Russian mayonnaise. So good. And again, all these things, I know I have it in my pantry. Dried spices, you can change it around. Some horseradish. Yep. Can have that also in the fridge and mayonnaise. So leftover corned beef. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go two slices on this. Mm -hmm. So corned beef obviously being the salted or brined uh, Jarello or uh, Silverside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, next, we're going to use some beautiful sauerkraut. This is my sauerkraut. I hope you like it. Okay, can I have a little taste? Delicious. Mm, Delicious. Good, isn't it? Not too salty. No. It's always nicer to make your own fermented vegetables at home because you can monitor how much salt you put in it. You also ferment a lot of your vegetables and pickle a lot of vegetables at Pope Joan. Yep, yeah, we love fermenting and mm -hmm. love pickling. Mm -hmm. um, and then to finish off, obviously the cheese. Now this is a little bit of smoked mozzarella or what's it called? Scaramozza. Mm -hmm. You can use any stinky cheese, you know, Emmental or um, Gruyere. Yep. Even a good old cheddar yep. is great. I always keep an eye on it because it's one of my favourite mozzarellas, but you can find it at a lot of delis now. It's at most boot supermarkets, like big you supermarkets as well. Supermarkets yeah, now. like you just go and ask them. If they don't, well. Yep. Um, but that's beautiful. It's cheese on toast. It's oh, banging. Yeah, and then. How do you say it? Butter. Butter. <laughs> With this Lots English of accent. it. So. Lots and then that butter. side's going to go straight into the mm. pan. So you can put this on a toaster if you've got a toaster. But me personally. It's great in the pan because you put extra butter. <laughs> extra butter on top. Yep. Nice one. Mm -hmm. So can you pass me the palette knife, please? Palette knife for you, sir. We're going to gently push this down. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you've got a sandwich press at home, just yep. and go for it. Yes. Just gently pressing. So we'll just flip this over. And what I do like to do is we can use the same plate mm -hmm. as what we're going to use it on. Press just it down. Press it down. And there you are. You've just saved yourself thousands on a sandwich press. Thousands. Oh, thousands? <laughs> don't know what sandwich press costs thousands. Does yours? No. <laughs> So this is finished. We'll mm. cut this in half. This is a great one that you can serve extra pickles on the side as well if yeah. you want. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, gooey. <laughs> one for on me, one for you. Look at that. Scaramozza. I love it. Maddie Wilkinson. Can't wait to try that. This is like sheer pleasure. <laughs> it's hot. It's <laughs> hot. <laughs> but I tell you what, that's what I call fun food. You know, the cheese is gooey, it's tasty, there's no effort involved. It's one of those sandwiches that one bite is just simply not enough. I'm going in for a second one. It does need a little cheeky beer on the side. Oh, that would be nice. A little cheeky beer. Yummo. Maddie, thank you so much. And guys at home, leftovers. Look what you can do with them make these amazing toasted sandwiches. <laughs>